So he's been around long enough to take a few shots at marketing. Okay, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, remember that. Uh, okay, our theme this year is it's time, and I think it's time for some real demos. So uh, we've talked at length about how Moore's Law and the incredible power of the PC has uh, powered our evolution of virtual instrumentation. And in recent years, Moore's Law took a left turn with multi-core. And we've talked at length about how LabVIEW's graphical programming is the perfect solution to take advantage of those architectures. But in addition to multi-core, there's also been some other trends that have crept up on us. One that we all know and love is mobilization. How many people have a smartphone? Show of uh, applause. All right. Just about everyone. We're geeks. We love these things, right? Um, this is a computer. It just happens to make phone calls, too. It also gives us information anytime, anywhere. Here's another question. How many people have a tablet? Okay, a few. Not so many, but in just in surveys show that in just three short years, we'll be selling more tablets than desktops. So, of course, at NI, we see this as an opportunity. This is completely changing the landscape of computers. And we have some engineers who are going to come up and share a few ideas about how we see these new platforms being taken advantage of by scientists and engineers. So I'd like to introduce uh, Kevin Harwood, Joe Friedrichsen, and Dane Wagner. All right, guys, what do you have for us today? So, John, with NI wireless sensor networks, measurements are often geographically dispersed and not located close to any network infrastructure or host PC. Having a portable wireless solution, then, for network diagnostics could be pretty handy. So I've been prototyping an application that lets you do just that right on your iPhone. All right, there's an app for that. Let's That's right. Out. So new with LabVIEW 2010, RT targets publish various web services that you can parse to create your very own thin clients. I can access those services right from within the iOS SDK, where I can automatically discover devices on my network and display information about each. If I drill down on my NI9792 that I have here on the stage with me, I can see more information such as name, model, serial number, and various network configuration settings. But I can also use the app for WSN configuration. Here I can add or move nodes as well as view information about the state of each node. Uh, it looks like we've got a node with a pretty weak signal here, and I think that's the one you've got, John. Oh, wait, maybe I'm holding it wrong. Oh, no, we don't have to worry about holding it wrong. Uh, that, the death grip doesn't affect us. Oh. I think we just forgot to put the antenna on. All right. So he'll go ahead and add the antenna, and I'll refresh the data, and now we see we've got a full signal strength. All this is being done with web services that ship with LabVIEW 2010 and standard tools in the iOS SDK. All right, very cool. So now you can walk around the plant, whip out your iPhone, and check on the setup of your hardware. But uh, you know, we're a DAC company, so I, I want to see live data. Can we do that with these new tools? We sure can, John. One of the great things, like you said, about mobile devices is that you have access to information anywhere. And to an engineer like myself, that means measurement data. And so I've prototyped a system that displays measurements on an iPad. Cool. I'm using a compact DAC system to monitor both the internal temperature and the power consumption of this Frigidaire ZX 7200 thermally insulated temperature chamber. At my desk, I just call it my beer fridge. Nice. The CDAC chassis is connected to a Windows laptop, which is using LabVIEW web services to publish the measurements to the network. My iPad application then connects to these measurements, retrieves the data, and plots it on the screen. I've even implemented an extra feature. If I give a beer to a friend, but forget to close the door, the temperature is going to rise and my beer is going to get warm. That would be a catastrophe. And so I programmed the iPod to let me know that something like that is going to happen. It says, intruder, someone is stealing your beer. All right. The real engine for innovation at NI. But you know, I have a few more demos to get through, so let's put that away for now. Oh, OK. What's great is that our customers can begin doing something like this right now. My application is just using standard web services available with LabVIEW today. 
and to help everyone get started on the mobile side of things, we're creating a series of reference architectures for creating native measurement applications, not only for Apple iOS, but also for Google Android. We put together a series of tutorials as well as example code in both Java and Objective-C for viewing multiple channel finite waveforms as well as FFT data on your mobile device. We're making these available beginning today at ni.com slash smartphone. So go there now, download some preview code, and keep tuned for updates. Okay, that's great, guys. So with um, web services. <laughs> you know, that's, that's pretty cool, but there's nothing new here. I mean, you just you have a system there with LabVIEW. It's pumping data with web services. Don't, what do you have new for us? So today it's common to use handheld meters like this one to take quick measurements. But in the future, we imagine using your smartphone to acquire, graph, and even log data right from your phone. All right, cool. So you can get rid of the PC now and just direct connect the hardware to your uh, phone, right? It's almost right. Um, the, a lot of smartphones have mini or micro USB ports, but the most common way of connecting a peripheral to a phone is over Bluetooth. Now, Dell was kind enough to lend us one of their new Dell Streaks, an Android-based tablet not released in the US yet. And the prototype that I have here is a thermocouple DAC device running on AA batteries and connected over Bluetooth to the streak. Now, the great thing about this prototype is because it's totally wireless, we have a lot of flexibility in where we can take measurements. For instance, we can pop it here in the beer fridge, and we'll instantly see real-time temperature data right on the phone. I even have an option, if you notice that, that I can save or email data without going anywhere else. All right, very cool, guys. Thanks. <laughs>